Hey guys, um, I'm here to review uh, my latest Ultra Saber. Uh, this time I got the Dark Arbiter, which as you can see is a very streamlined saber. And um, I got this over the regular Arbiter because I thought, you know, that the way they did the anodization, the black accents, they did it really well. And I really like the, uh, the pommel as well. It's a pretty nice looking pommel. And um, yeah, so far this has definitely be, been one of my best. It's uh, my favorites. It's definitely very easy to use. It has a grip, um, good grip on both the lower end and the higher end. So it's great for using it with two hands or even one handed in combat here. And um, it's, pre it's still pretty lightweight, it's a bit solid, but it's, it doesn't seem too hollow, so it's pretty good. Um, and just like most of their sabers, everything is MHS compatible. Now, veterans of the site obviously know what that means, for, for, but for those of you who might be new, what it means is that the joints at the top and bottom, at least on this saber, the top and bottom, um, are standardized, so you can replace it with any kind of part you want. So for instance, if you didn't like this pommel, you could unscrew it and replace it with a different pommel. Now, I got this with the Obsidian Premium Sound, which you can hook up to your computer via, uh, via mini USB port, and you can change all the different sound fonts. So if you want it to sound uh, more unique or like an actual lightsaber from uh, one of the lightsabers from the actual movies or TV shows or whatever, you can do that. The sound is comes out of here, it looks like a pretty small speaker, but it's a very, very rich. Um, to the point where even with the pommel on it, and it is vented for sound, it still rings through completely clear. Now, the emitter is also MHS compatible, and I actually did customize this one a little bit. I chose to forsake the Dark Arbiter emitter here, which still looks very nice, for the emitter from the Overlord Saber. And as you can see, once my clumsiness is overcome, it screws on just like it was meant for the Saber in general. And personally, I like the way this looks a lot better. Now, I got also got it with the a silver AV switch, and, as opposed to the regular switch. And uh, I got it, you can get it to not light up, you can get it in black or silver, or you can get it illuminated a particular color. I chose to illuminate it in white. And it looks really nice, gives a nice little accent to it. And just like any of their other sabers, the blade fits in quite nicely. And I got this one with an ultra edge blade. So it looks very smooth, very nice, especially in the dark. You see the Overlord has a nice windowed emitter. Makes it look all fancy and cool and stuff like that. So, uh, so yeah, this is uh, the Dark Arbiter in Guardian Blue with the Obsidian Premium Sound and the Silver Illuminated Anti-Vandal Switch. With, uh, and like all sabers with the premium obsidian sound, it's with the lithium ion setup, which allows for hours of use on end if you either want to train with it or show off with it or just leisurely beat the crap out of your friends with it. Not that I recommend that or anything. But, uh, but yeah, this is an excellent saber. I'm extraordinarily satisfied once again with ultra sabers. And I recommend them for any of your ultra-sabering and light-sabering needs. All right. Thanks, guys.